Hello beautiful humans, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tessa Stewart and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back sis. <laughs> so in today's video, I will be doing a review and first impression of the new Fenty Beauty Eavesdrop Blurring Skin Tint. So if you'd like to see how this measures up, what are my thoughts on this, how it wears on my skin, then just keep on watching. Let's jump right into it. I picked up the Fenty Beauty Eavesdrop Blurring Skin Tint during the VIB sale. I was actually interested in it for a little while, like as soon as it launched. I kind of sort of was interested in it simply because I actually haven't done any skin tints or like tinted moisturizers in a long time. But I don't know if you remember when the Kiss <laughs> tinted moisturizers were really huge on YouTube. I used to use those faithfully. So I decided, you know, this might be up my alley, especially especially for summertime, since the masks are a thing now. Um, so I picked up shade 20. According to the online shade finder, this should be my shade because generally when I tried the foundation years ago when it first launched, I was 420, I believe. I was either 410 or 420, I can't fully remember. I think I was 420. So that's what made me go with this particular one. I am hoping <laughs> that I got the right shade. So let me go in and just read some of the benefits of it. So according to Sephora, what is it? A lightweight, buildable, light to medium coverage skin tint that leaves skin looking blurred and smoothed in flexible shades for all. So it's supposed to be light coverage with a natural finish. Clearly it is a liquid and then it's free of parabens, phylates. It's also vegan, gluten-free and cruelty-free if that matters for you. So. I'm gonna go ahead, we're not gonna waste any time. I already have my face primed. I am generally combination skin, so combo, little more oily in the summertime, but the, the edge generally stays normal and sometimes even dry. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna put some on my dish here. Mm, let's see, I'm just gonna swatch a little bit. That's not bad, ooh. We'll see. Here's the deal. I'm trying this. I'm trying to give Fenty skin products another try. Honestly, guys, the foundation for me is very orange. <laughs> like, I look Oompa Loompa-ish. So I don't mesh too well with the, the foundation, but since this is supposed to fit a variety of skin tones, I figure I'd give it a try. And I'm gonna use a brush. Okay, so that blended that blended right in actually. It's covering my hyperpigmentation. So I have hyperpigmentation around my mouth, like most um, women of color. It's darker around my muzzle area. I also have dark circles and I have blemishes around my face from breakouts from last year, so you can see that there. So let's just It blends pretty okay. I don't have an issue with the blending. I think the match is, is pretty okay, pretty good, I guess. There definitely is not a lot of coverage, which is okay for me. So, so far so good, very glowy. I don't know about blurring. Does my skin look smoother, guys? <laughs> Does it? <laughs> because I can't. From right here, it's not looking like that. Okay guys, so this is one layer of the skin tint. Um, you know what, I actually, I like it. I like the coverage. This is actually right up my alley. I'm generally one of those people. Now, if you notice, I do not put any under my under eyes because I know I'm gonna need <laughs> heavy concealer and if this stuff is liquidy I don't want the concealer to move and I don't like that caked up look under my eye so I'm just gonna go in with the concealer of my choice and I'll be back after I apply my concealer and then we'll powder and we'll go on about our day
I have applied my concealer. So today's concealer of choice is Maybelline Age Rewind in the color tan. I like love this stuff. Like this is actually my everyday <laughs> go-to <laughs> concealer, especially for work, mm, every day. All right, so I just blended that out and the concealer blended beautifully over the, um, the skin tint actually. I'm really honestly, I'm not mad at it. It's a little glowy. So it's actually a lot glowy for me. As you can see, I still have hyperpigmentation showing through here in here um, and then down at the bottom. Now here's the deal. What I would do <clears throat> is if you are a stickler for that type of stuff, you can go in with a concealer that's closer to your, your skin tone and then you can spot conceal, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna show you how it's done on one side. Actually, I don't generally cover this up because it, act, it acts as like natural contour. <laughs> So really, I just put shadow over that and it looks like I contoured, but I didn't. And that's what I generally do when I'm using lighter coverage. But down here, let's say you don't want that darkness showing through. I would just go in, I take my NC50 concealer from MAC and then I'll just go in right here where I have that darkness. Now, you can put more of the skin tint there, but I'd rather not. If it's that deep, if you gotta cover it, I say just use like a, a light concealer. Just gonna go back in with my foundation brush. All right. So, so far so good, I like it. So now what I'm gonna do to set the, the skin tint, I am going to go in with the Fenty Beauty powder foundation. Now this, this is the Pro Filter Soft Matte powder foundation. This is actually my first time ever using it using this. So I have the shades 410 and I also have the shade 390. I'm gonna use 390 under my eyes. So gently under the eye, just stamp that in, that powder foundation. And this gives you a more like put together effect. And then if you have dark circles like me, it really makes sure that they're covered. And then that lighter, this lighter powder, I'm gonna do my forehead down my nose, above my lip, and my chin. And then with the darker powder foundation, so for 10, I'm just gonna take a large brush and I'm going to set the rest of my face. Now, if you wanted, you could, you could totally use a translucent powder. You don't have to use a powder with more color to it, because this will give you a little bit more coverage. I just figured, you know, since I'm testing out the Ease Drop, I might as well use it with a corresponding powder from the same line, okay? Let me just bronze up my face really quickly. I'm gonna be using my Black Radiance Pressed Powder. This is actually a face powder in the color Black Coffee, but I like to use this for like um, bronzing or whatever. <laughs> for bronzing, it works so good with my skin tone. a little bit and you have to be careful it's easy for me to go overboard with this stuff because it is quite deep but I like the I like the look it gives me it is what it is okay look I'm very glowy guys so if you if you're not about that glow life this not might not be for you because I can just tell that from now. Like this is not a, a mattifying type of formula. Let me add a little blush. I love this. I love this shade of blush. It's really pretty on deeper skin. Because this is already a little glowy, in my opinion, I'm not gonna do any highlighter today. I'm just, I haven't been in a highlighter mood. So I'm just gonna set my face with my All Nighter Ultra Matte Setting Spray. All right guys, so my face is completely done. This is the final look. Okay, I, I like it. I like the finish of it so far. So far, so good. We'll see how it um, goes throughout the day. If it stays looking like this, 
I like this and this is definitely like an everyday, I would say this is like an everyday foundation type of deal if it stays good like this. So right now it's early in the morning. It is, oh, it's eight. So it's, can you even see that? It's 8.07 a.m. I am going to do a full day with this. I won't get in the house probably until after six. Okay, so you'll get a full work day, work wear with it. If I can do any type of check-ins throughout the day, maybe with my phone, I will, just so you can see how it's holding up. But right now, it's so far so good and I have high hopes for it. So I'll be back in a flash to let you know my final thoughts and how it held up throughout the day. All right, guys, so this is natural lighting. I'm in my car. This is the Fenty Beauty. Guys, Listen, once I got from under those lights in the, like where I was recording and I was in the house and like normal house lights and then outside, <laughs> this stuff looked bomb. Like no joke, like it looks good. It does look smooth. I know that I made a comment asking like, is it smooth yet or whatever? Like, does my skin look smooth? But in person out here, my skin looks good. My skin looks smooth. It's giving good coverage, even with that powder on top. Like, I'm feeling it so far. Um, I'll let y'all, you guys know how it does with a mask or whatever, but so far so good. I'm actually liking it. I'm thoroughly impressed. I didn't think I would like it as much as, <laughs> as, much as I did, but I'm feeling it. All right, guys, I figure I'll do this while I'm here. I just got out of the urgent care. I had to take my son to get a COVID test. Um, and I actually had to get one for myself. So this is what my face is looking like after taking off the mask. It definitely removed some of the makeup. Above my lip is fine. The rest is fine. But just thought I'd give you an update. I think it's good. Honestly, I think if I had like a sponge, I could just dab around where the mask was and it looked perfectly fine all right humans we're back so it has been a full day of wear and when i say full i mean full okay <laughs> so it is now 9 36 so it's 9 36 p.m i put this on in the 7 a.m hour i probably was finished filming like a few minutes after 8 like 807 something like that so I can give you a good a good review of how this stuff wears throughout the day. So after basically 13, 14 hours of wear, this is what she's looking like. Well, what I've noticed, let me just pick up my mirror here. I have gotten a little more oily in my T-zone. Some of the foundation or the skin tint has rubbed off on the sides of my face. Now I will tell you, I did, I did take a nap guys, I fell asleep. <laughs> so the sides, I was, I was laying on my pillow, I was laying on my arms, so it lasted through a nap and everything. And I did, I, have the, I had my mask on earlier. After that, I only touched up the one time and then I did have to wear my mask again. And like I said, I took a nap. So I think that the longevity is there for myself, because I have the combination skin, I think that I would need to use a mattifying primer in the T-zone the area. So my Becca Evermatte, and then around the outer edge, I think that I would be better off using my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Um, I think that the Milk Hydro Grip is just a little too hydrating for this particular foundation, and it kind of slides and moves off, and it, I think it transfers easier, because after I powdered repowdered my face and kind of like rebuffed the foundation in i noticed that it, i got a little bit more wear out of it so i think that for myself or anyone who has combination skin i would suggest that you use a little bit more powder than you normally would use in your oily areas and a mattifying primer as well so i don't think i'm going to take it back i think i am going to keep it it is lightweight i like how it feels on the skin now what i will say is when i did get hot it it, it feels like it feels like found any other foundation once it's on your skin and you're hot like you definitely feel that it's there and i felt even i felt very oily when i felt sweaty you know what i'm saying um but after like it if you take your the back of your hand and just do like that 
it just feels a little bit better. I like the shade match. It did oxidize a little bit and got a little more red throughout the day, but which was fine for me though. I still think it's a good match. So if you're looking for a foundation that has a lighter coverage, is a little bit more lightweight than something that you would normally use, I think that you, it's worth a try. If you're oily in combination, take precaution, try it out. You never know, it may work for you, it may not. Is this like my new holy grail or anything like that? No, <laughs> no, but I do like it and I do like the finish of it. It, it did have a very pretty finish. So. That was today's video. If you like what you saw, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you're alerted with all of my future uploads. I have quite a few <laughs> more foundation reviews, um, some makeup tutorials, and other types of reviews and tutorials coming up for you guys that you don't wanna miss. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Bye.